Hello everyone, this is going to be the part one of our machine learning uh, project series and uh, this is going to be a regression uh, problem related project and in this project we're going to create a streamlit web, health, uh, web app that will actually help us to predict health insurance uh, premiums uh, by implementing different machine learning models okay so here is the uh, so in this part one you know what i'm going to do i'm going to go through the outline of our project okay and for this i have created a, a presentation slide for you all and yeah i'm not right now i'm going to go through it so the title of our presentation uh, the slide is basically a predictive health insurance model for shield insurance and uh, you know, initially what we will do uh, we will actually have a, a team meeting with our stakeholders and with uh, with our project managers and also uh, with the uh, senior data scientists and the and the junior data scientists like all of them and in that group meeting our team meeting uh, we will actually align team members with project goals and expectations so basically uh, we will um, introduce uh, the project we're going to work in work in and then uh, we will also set up a ecosystem that will help all of us to come into a mutual understanding and then continue the project work okay and then uh, we will uh, review and discussion of the project charter like uh, what will be our objectives and what will be our deliverables all those things and uh, furthermore we will identify the hopes and fears related to the projects so what are hopes and fears uh, let's uh, uh, discuss on those in the next slide so the hopes uh, are that the stakeholders are hoping that um, by implementing that uh, machine learning uh, model uh, they would be able to achieve uh, extreme customer satisfaction uh, for shield so basically um, shield is just a hypothetical name for the insurance company uh, that we are actually going to create the uh, machine learning web app for and then maintain effective communication channels so whatever there is a problem uh, there should be a support team to back up uh, or to back the problem and then receive cleaner and more reliable data compared to previous projects and uh, this uh, hope was from the tech side those who will work in the project that they are expecting the data should be cleaner and reliable compared to the previous projects they actually worked on so now uh, how we will actually continue uh, so we will actually use python for accurate predictions of insurance premium can enhance uh, decision making for both insurers and also for policy holders so this goes the hope part and now the fear so let's talk about the fears so the stakeholders um, should not keep some unrealistic uh, expectations because uh, there are certain situations where a stakeholder might think that this will work like this so in those scenarios a um, uh, clean and a clear communication would help both the a team and the stakeholder or client and then feature creep so this is basically um to prevent unplanned additions that may delay their lives okay if uh, there is a external uh feature interest uh, this should be discussed before uh starting of the project so that will not hamper the project deadline now about the data quality so the expectation is that the commitment to obtaining a cleaner data to ensure moral accuracy and another thing is that uh, to ensure the uh, cleaner data our project manager his name is nick so he's going to uh, be the medium uh, for medium between the team and the shield insurance and also managing feature clips so this is basically uh, the minimum viable product that is our streamlit of web application so the highest priority should be uh, to get the product get the product up and running uh due before the deadline now let's talk about the scope of work so this is uh the most important thing so as we have discussed before that uh, my company will develop a predictive model for shield insurance to estimate health insurance premiums based on different uh, factors so namely age smoking habits bmi and medical history and the project deliverable will be uh, a predictive model with a streamlit application now let's talk about the objective this is basically uh, about the prediction models that the prediction model should be able to uh, highly uh, accurate uh, should be able to accurately predict um, different uh, 
factors and they give us you know proper uh, premium results and the accuracy should be 97 percent and also uh the error uh, should be less than 10 percent when we are considering 95 percent level of significance or sorry 95 percent uh, confidence interval and then of course uh as this is going to be a stream lead application so we will have to deploy the model in the cloud so that the so that so that the stream lead application can work flawlessly and in the initialization of the project, we will uh, we will start the project by collecting the data and uh, pre-processing. Um, after that, uh, we will develop uh, different models, and we will we'll try to find out the best model. And then uh, we will deploy the model, and uh, furthermore, we will ensure the security and the scalability of the model. And finally, we will develop the Streamlit application. Um, so this, there will be an UI and by clicking on the UI or by putting different values on those on the UI, we will be able to get our predicted score. So basically, uh, this was the total uh, scenario of the project or you can say the project outline. So now let me uh, show you a little bit about the uh, mock-up and then the final app. So basically, this was the mock-up. So we will have to create an streamlit app where the users can uh, input their age, uh, their dependents, uh, their plan, and then their gender. And then uh, when we will click on predict, uh, it will also it will automatically generate this uh, predicted premium based on our machine learning model. And the final app should just look something like this. So this is a streamlit application. So we will try to uh, be rebuild this uh, streamlit app and in the back in the back end there will be the best machine learning model and that is you know uh, function uh, this uh, streamlit app so i hope you guys are excited to see how uh, this thing actually goes on and hopefully we'll will be able to learn a lot of things uh, that is actually going on in the uh, real life industry